Once your walk audit team is formed, you can start planning your walk audit. There are three key steps in planning for a successful walk audit. First, you will need to determine which area of the community your team would like to assess. Consider the areas that could reduce accidents between vehicles and pedestrians, make it easier for people to walk to grocery stores, community centers, faith organizations, and healthcare services, or connect neighborhoods to open spaces such as parks and trails. Be sure to select an area that addresses health equity. Consider working with local leaders in areas of the community that lack access to safe places to be active or where there are persistent transportation issues. It is important to consider what changes the group would like to see in their community. Next, you will identify the specific route to assess during the walk audit. Generally, routes should not exceed one mile, so participants can properly survey the route and document their findings. If you have a large group, you might consider breaking it up into several smaller groups, which would allow participants to audit more than one route. Lastly, think about who your route leader should be. It's recommended that one route leader per group of five to 10 people guide participants along the route during the walk audit. Leading a walk audit is a great way for community members to get involved, and it doesn't require any previous experience. What comes from the experience of the walk audit is that it's important to involve folks, to get people engaged, to fire them up about where they live and how they can support and help solve problems within their own communities. Those interested in serving as route leaders will receive training from you or from other community leaders so that they're equipped with the skills necessary to lead community members through the process. As part of the training, route leaders will learn how to create a route map review the walk audit checklist, and provide tips for implementing the audit. Before leading the team on the day of the event, route leaders are encouraged to preview the assigned routes. Route leaders should aim to identify at least four spots along the route that are conducive for the group to stop for a brief five-minute discussion about what they see and experience while walking the route. This way, route leaders can take pictures and notes of any specific aspects of the route they want to be sure to point out to the group. Thank you.